I wasn't athletic. I didn't play music. I didn't have any kind of special skills. I wasn't tall, wasn't short, wasn't anything. And so it was just kind of like disappearing. One of the things is I'm pretty comfortable with who I think I am and I'm not really willing to apologize for that anymore. Did you ever apologize? I think when I found design, I started to find myself and each time I got deeper into it, I found another piece of the puzzle of myself and I was like, I can build my identity here, finally. Now I get to explore who I am. One of the things is I have now come to a place in my life where I'm pretty comfortable with who I think I am and I'm not really willing to apologize for that anymore. Mm -hmm. Did you ever apologize? Yeah, I did a lot. Really? In the process of creating videos on YouTube, I think I know who I am now. I've spent 20 years making commercials for other people. I don't really, I'm not worried too much about money. And so I get to just express who I am. And for a lot of people, they don't like it at all. Totally okay with that. And I remember one time I was getting a little testy and during a live stream when somebody had suggested, Chris, why don't you try this with the logo that you're designing? And I paused. You know, this is a live stream. And I said, well, that's a good idea. When you host a channel, <laughs> you could do that idea. But this is what <laughs> I'm doing. You know what I mean? So Great idea. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> so good. You should do it. I'm just going to do it this way. And one one last little story here is I'm on Clubhouse doing a call with my friend Petrula Von Tigas, And after the call, she texts me. And she goes, Chris, there's a, some strong reactions to you from this room today. I know what that means because Petrula is very polite means people are throwing shade on me and they're DMing her, right? And I'm like, okay. She goes, uh, do you want to talk about it? I'm like, yeah, okay. So she tells me some of the things and she's very careful about how to phrase these things. I said, I appreciate that. Petrula, I'm not going to change. She goes, do you, don't, I, I think, Chris, people misunderstand you. I'm like, no, they understand me perfectly. They get to react however they want to react. You know what? People call me a charming razor blade. I'm good with that label. That fits really well. Have people really called you that, Chris? Yeah, people give me all kind of loving, uh, just funny nicknames, and I, I love it all. I really do. Mm -hmm. and they, I they, got like, plenty of nicknames, they, too. And <laughs> <laughs> I told my wife, because it was on Twitter, like, Chris, you're the charming razor blade. I told my wife, she goes, the internet knows you, don't they? There's an edge to you. You can get cut. But there's some charm, some attraction there. We don't know what it is. And I said to her, to Petrula, Petrula, that's my brand. And she laughed. She goes... Okay, I'm just gonna have to accept that. Yes, that's absolutely right. I found my voice, I found who I am, and I'm not really willing to apologize for that. Now, if I misspeak, if I offend you, I will apologize, but I'm not gonna apologize for being me.